There we go, boys. Oh, cheers, sir. Cheers, mate. Now you've done that, fuel gauge on this needs doing. No problem. You just leave it to me, boss. Although I must tell you, I can't stay late tonight. No one's asking you to. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. Yeah, right. Even if it was an emergency, I've got to go at five. Turn around and shut your face, will you? Just tell us why you have to go at five, eh? I've got a date. Oh, have you now? <laughs> a wee girl from the camels, eh? Yeah, Maria. She's coming round to the B&B. Oh. Well, you better make sure he gets away, eh? Get himself smartened up, eh? No, oh, of course. Can't go on a date in your overalls. Might not be fit for work tomorrow. No buttons or anything, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Kev. <laughs> Tyrone! Oh, all right, Mrs D. It's all right if I have a quick word, isn't it, on it's a big night tonight? Yeah, no problem. I know he had a date, but, uh, listen, does Jack know what's going on between you two? Do you know you're about as funny as a parachute with a sunroof? It's all right, love. I was just on my way to calf, and I've brought you this. Oh. You want to look nice for Maria, don't you, tonight? Well, a girl likes to be wooed by a man with a tie. Yeah, they like to rip them off, don't they? Not in my front room, they don't. Jim, can I ask you a question? Right. As long as it doesn't have a pound sign of the word borrow in it, work away. Oh, no, it's not like that. It's advice on a man-to-man -man basis. Yeah, man-to-man, eh? See, Maria's coming round tonight and she's a top bird in her thing, and Jack and Vera's given us a front room to ourselves. Oh, here, you got the front room, have you? Thing is, I, I mean, I know you might find this funny and hard to believe, but I, I haven't had much experience with girls, really. Uh, and I was wondering if you could give us a few pointers, like, seeing as though you're a man of the world. Well, now, hold your horses a minute, Tyrone. Uh, is this the finer points you're after, or the, uh, the whole manual, eh? Oh, no, and all the basics. Well, thank the Lord for that. It's techniques I'm after. Techniques? Well, you can't just jump in them like a car, turn the key and away you go. No, 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 you certainly can't do that. You're right there, son. Well, how'd you get them in the mood, then? Ah, seduction you're talking about, eh? Is that what the crack is? Seduction? I don't know. Is that what you do in the front room? <sighs> That's what front rooms were invented for, son. Well, I'll tell you what, if I was you, I'd go and get yourself a romantic movie, eh? You know, boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy goes away and finds girl, then the boy dies, you know, that kind of carry on. Sounds boring. She's into Matrix, that's an action film. Well, I'll tell you what, Tyrone, if you can sit through half an hour of that, you'll get all the action you want. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, now you're talking, boy. Matt Norris. Oh, Tyrone. And yes, what can I do for you? I don't want out except a word about tonight's important. Oh, can't you see? I'm employed upon the business of the Queen. The Queen? Oh, Rita won't mind. No, not Rita. Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. When I'm behind this counter, I am her representative in all matters of civil service. And you, young man, are impeding her administration. So what are you? What do you want? I just wanted a word about tonight, right? The front room at the B&B, well out of bounds. Don't understand. My girlfriend's going round. Ah, no, but, but, but that front room has always been there for the use of all paying guests. Well, not tonight. For me and Maria. You can ask Jack and Vera. Oh, I should be re registering my disapproval with Mr and Mrs Duckworth. Registered or first class, Norris? It's not going to matter. For me and Maria tonight. But I, I'm disturbed. I am. I'm, I'm deeply disturbed. I took this to be a respectable establishment. What are you on about? Of course it is. Allowing young men to entertain ladies in private, I have a reputation to consider. Oi, the only dodgy woman we've ever had in here was that, that six-foot redhead that sold bog cleaner from door to door and she forgot a shaving kit. Uh, is she here yet? No, not yet. Oh, do you like it? I beg some aftershave off Jim. It's called Money Sewer. <laughs> hey, she's here. Well, well, well go on then. Go. Well, aren't you going to introduce us? No, come on, Vera, love. We don't want to be cramping the lad's style. You too, Morris. Norris? Whatever. Come in. Yeah. Nice place. Well, Vera, my landlady, she's very house proud. <laughs> oh, you must be Maria. Yeah. Yeah. This is Vera. Hiya. Nice to meet you, love. See you. Uh, do you want to come from here? Uh, come in, Maria. Hello, Monica. Uh, do you want a sandwich? Vera's made them special. Oh, yeah, great. Thanks. I've got us a video. What is it? It's about these two men that fall in love with the same woman at the office. Oh. Did they not have anything with a bit more blood and guts? No, but I've got a copy of Pulp Fiction in my bedroom. Brilliant. 
you know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Paris? A royale with cheese. <laughs> I'll go and get it. Shut up, girl. You'll have Jack and Vera in a minute. She's jealous. Don't be daft. But they can be very possessive, can some dogs? I used to know a girl once who had this great big Rottweiler that used to sleep on a bed with her. And then when she got married, the dog wouldn't let a fella anywhere near the bed. Really? Yeah. Hmm? Well, well, Monica wouldn't do that. Not that we were getting into bed. <laughs> or even if we were getting in. <laughs> oh, that's it, girl. Come on. You know I love you, but you're just going to have to learn to share me. Come on, get out. 